So Rosanna from Toto on the Toto 4 album has one of the most well-known, memorable solos that Steve Luke has ever done. And then the guy is just unbelievable. He did it in his early 20s or something, just crazy. Um, it is an amazing solo. I've wanted to relearn it properly for years and sort of never never got around to it. I found actually an isolated guitar um, uh, guitar recording from Rosanna, so you could really get sort of the, the nuance of it, which is cool. We're in standard tuning, um, key of F for this, so they go down to an F major. That's what he's playing over for the whole solo, except the very end, when he hits an E flat and uh, and a B flat, B flat on D specifically. Why is that important? Well, knowing um, what you're playing over really helps you, for me, remember it, but learn, you know, why it sounds good, because it's all really around, you know, the rhythm and the phrasing, but the note choice over the chord that's being played. Okay, so standard tuning key of F. We're gonna start on the F note, third fret D string, not gonna slide into it, not gonna slide down to it. Um, it just starts on there like this. Okay, one, one, two, one on the F, and then the G, and then slide the G up to the A. Okay, second part, we go into uh, F major pentatonic territory, um, which is shape-wise looks like D minor pentatonic. They're the same scale, but again, because we're on F chord, it's considered F major pentatonic. Anyway, shape-wise, you're thinking this. That's your F major pentatonic, again, because they're playing on an F. Looks like D minor. Okay, um, we're gonna slide into the C there, okay, like this. Okay, slide in. Got to have that finger isolation, that sort of muting going there. You play, you're alternating between the D and the G string. Then we're going to hit the F and do a full bend on the G uh, note, twelfth friend, up to the A, and then we're going to do a big Steve Lukather ism. We're going to hit the note a fret up with our pinky. And the next part is that run he's doing. Um, it's I find it's it's tricky actually because uh, you're going fast uh, up the minor pentatonic chord shape uh, scale shape rather. So it's like this. Okay. So D minor pentatonic shape. Straight up, and then you're going to hit the flat five, which you'll often play here. Same note, that ninth fret on the B string. Slide. Okay. That note there, that B flat there, they're bringing in a note from, um, technically I suppose it's the fourth degree, because you're on F. Okay, so it's the B flat there. Um, not one in the minor pentatonic scale um, or the major pentatonic for that matter, but that's the one he's bringing in. So slide from the nine up to the 10, then pentatonic and then hit that 11. And then it's a hammer on. You can pick it if you want, but on the isolated one, it really sounds like a hammer on pull off. Okay. Oh, and this one down here, I do, um, because it starts off the beat, I'll do an upstroke on that G and then two downstrokes in a, in a row. So sort of that economy picking. Then we're going to do full bend. Then I move my first finger up to the F. And it's that same th thing that we did down here before, an octave up. Okay, full bend on that 15th fret up to 17, and then with your pinky, hit one fret up. And that's it, Rosanna by Toto, great solo. Good luck, see you next time.